right, the next tab we want to look at under your name at the top is the um, Resync Corporate Directory. So if we click on this tab, you'll see it's syncing here at the top there for a second. And what this actually does is it goes back into the server and resyncs all of the corporate names. So if for some reason somebody's name's not showing up properly, it's most likely because you've been running the client and haven't shut it down and, and restarted it for a while and the names have been updated on the server, but yet they're not updated in your directory view here because uh, it hasn't been resynced. So you can either shut down the client completely and reload it, or else you can just do a resync corporate directory and it will resynchronize all of those names and bring them back in. So anytime you want to make sure that gets updated, that's how you want, you want to do there is just hit the resync corporate directory and boom, brings it up. So the next tab we got here, we've got um, the About My Cloud Client. This just brings up a little window, tells you what version of client you're running in case you're, you need that for any reason. Um, we also got um, the Send Problem Report. So if you're having a problem with the client, something's acting up, not working properly, your system administrator might ask you to send a problem report so that we can pull it off the server and send it to support or, or analyze the, doc, the the logs to see what might be going on. So when you click on this, it's just going to bring up a little window here. You kind of type what the problem is, what you think it is, and then as much detail as possible, and then just hit send report. That will send it up to the server. The administrator doesn't get notified automatically that this is on the server, so you still need to you know open up a help disk ticket or something so that they will know that you're having a problem. But at least this will help them get all the files off your machine so that we can try to figure out what the problem might be. There's also a help here, which you can hit F1 anytime in, in here, or you can go to help. This is actually a pretty uh, comprehensive view of all of the different stuff that's in the client. So if you ever have any questions about what you can do with the client, what's in there, how things work, it's pretty much all in the help. You just have to kind of search around the help, do a search for what you're looking for, or you can just go through, it's pretty well laid out, you know, a getting started portion, um, the welcome email message that we talked about, logging in on the first time and so forth we talked about in previous videos. So this is a very helpful tool here if you need any help on the client. And then last but not least at the bottom is exit the MyCloud My client. So I just want to show you here, if you hit X on this client, it doesn't actually close the client completely. It's actually down in your system tray and it's running right there. So see the little icon right there? If you have any missed calls or anything, it might look like a little checkbox, like, like a call got missed. This icon changes depending on what you might have going on with the client at the time. But it'll, it's still running down there, so it's not actually closed. So if you double click on it here, it'll actually bring up the client again. Ideally, here we go, we'll open the client. And then, um, but if you want to actually close the client completely, you need to click on your name and then go exit my collab client. So that pretty much describes all of the stuff under your name tab. Thank you. Mm -hmm.